Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day one of a brand new week. Uh, we did wrap up Lapis Lakeside. Unfortunately, did not make it to Ultra 4. Um, we stopped like 15,000 shy, and there was just no chance. So, unfortunately, only Ultra 3 this week, but that does bode well for this week. We should, for sure, get Ultra 4. Also, didn't get extra tasty for lunch or dinner yesterday. So, had we gotten extra tasty, we definitely would have made it. But, unfortunately, it just wasn't in the cards for us. But, let's go ahead and move on. We're going to grab our 100 sleep points. Puts us at 6,528. And, of course, while we're here, play our daily lottery. And, hopefully, we can get a biscuit. That would be nice. But, I'll take some diamonds. A biscuit is very nice. I am honestly kind of fine with biscuits. It helps keep my supply up. Can't really complain too much about that. Now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get this sleep report done so that we can select our new island for this week and get set up and ready to go on this adventure. We are on session 191. Eight hours, 55 minutes of sleep. Went to bed late trying to get enough to get to Ultra 4 and it just was not happening. But still got a 100 sleep score with 9% dozing, 39% snoozing, and 52% slumbering. Well, I guess we know what that's going to be. Slumbering type. Which is, I think, if I remember correctly, that's Stuffle. So maybe we can get a Stuffle. We do have quite a bit of spawns, and we got about 40, ooh, 50? 50.7 50 million. Not too bad with two three-star sleeps, so it's uh, probably some new stuff. And in a top belly with no two stars, all one stars. Very, very interesting. Well, there's a war turtle. Do believe that's new? Sure is. Dodrio is probably not new. I think we have most of those. Oh, it's not looking good for finding a new Pokemon. We have uh, Igglybuff, Swablu, Dodrio, Doduo, and Pichu. Unless we got a new sleep style. Uh, it's not looking good. We only have one other new sleep style on the board. Uh, it's not over here. Oh, it's a new Pichu. Electrifying sleep, the three star. Is that the last one? Might be. It is the last one we need. There we go. Job done for now. And then, of course, the final one, the lovely War Turtle atop belly. Which I don't think will be the last one. I'm pretty sure we still need the three star on this one. Yeah, still need the three star. Not quite done there. All right, and now we know for sure one of them is going to be hungry because I used a friend incense. Of course, it's a Pichu for no reason. Oh, man, this hungry luck lately has not been great. Um, and also, the game is running incredibly slow, even when I'm... It seems like it's stuttering a little bit, even when I'm not trying to scroll, but it is... Let's zoom in. Apparently, too many Pokemon on screen for my phone to handle job uh phone even with just the three on screen it's still stuttering maybe it's time for a new phone i guess we are gonna take the pichu home and we're just gonna be done with it again another lackluster uh final re, re be, 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 final sleep report for the week uh and we we have just been getting for the most part, pretty bad luck. We did get two shinies this week, which is fantastic. And one of them was actually good. And we got a pretty decent Dratini. But as far as everything else, our luck this last couple of weeks has been pretty, pretty rough. I don't even know what to do. I think I'm just going to go with the Swablu candy because it's the most rare. Maybe. Not really any great choices of what to send out either, so... I'm going to send out Swablu and hope that helps. 
We did get 2,266 research XP and 4,621 dream shards. There's the Pichu. Go ahead and switch on over and we'll check it out. So it's level 13 and hasty, which may be okay. Apple, apple, ginger. And then helping speed. I saw the gold and I thought it was berry finding, but helping speed S with a helping bonus right behind it is not bad. Ingredient finder M is pretty terrible. Uh, helping speed M is pretty good and skill level up S is also okay. So this is probably going to the professor. AC is not really that helpful for what this would be doing. Yeah, I mean, it says 60%, but honestly, only because of helping bonus. Helping bonus is doing a lot of heavy lifting there. Yeah, I think I'm going to send this one to the professor. It really is going to do... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this one for a minute. I'm going to think on that one. I'm not really too sure what I want to do with it at the moment. I'll just hold on to it for now and we'll move on and get the rest of our Monday going. We do have quite a bit to get through today, as always with Monday. Use seven incense. Let's go ahead and wrap up our missions before we choose our next research site. Using seven incense gets us five handy candies. And we almost made it to Ultra 4. But just barely missed out and of course we didn't finish either of those two so not a whole lot to collect in the missions but done and out of the way let's go ahead and wrap up this week check out that weekly summary bonus for the area is increased to five percent so that is good that is what's going to help us get to ultra four time to say goodbye Take care, Snorlax. Right. And overall, we got a sleep grade of S, which is six handy. Not too bad. Yeah, pretty decent sleep this week. That makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and move on. And of course, we're going to go right back to Lapis Lakeside. Now we have that 5% bonus. We're definitely going to move there. And I think we're going to do something crazy this week. First. What did we get? Desserts and drinks. Desserts and drinks are very good. We are pretty well set up for desserts and drinks. All right, I did use a recovery incense just to give everybody in the box a little extra 10% boost. And with that, we can go ahead and collect from everybody. A nice little skill trigger to start the week. I will take that. Thank you, Meganium. Uh, I did switch out Raichu on the team yesterday as well, just to try to get some extra berries to try to get to Ultra 4, and it just wasn't happening. Another skill trigger to start off the week. Can't complain about that. Can we start off with an ingredient magnet? We cannot. What about you, Victory Bell? Should I even claim your stuff yet? Um, mm, sure. Also, weird thing happened last night. Unfortunately, I didn't get a screenshot of it because I wasn't expecting it to happen and so I wasn't recording or anything like that. When I fed dinner last night, my Pokemon got 49 and 50 energy from the meal. I don't know how. I don't know why. All I did was make the Dream Eater butter curry and didn't get an extra tasty. Nothing, nothing special seemed to happen yeah, other than just randomly I got 49 energy for all of my Pokemon. And so I ended last night right before I went to bed with everybody at like 80% energy. I don't know. 
So if you guys know what's going on, feel free to let me know because I still have yet to figure it out. But let's go ahead and check. We do have some new news. Got maintenance. Ooh, and we got Valentine's bundles. Okay, let's do the Valentine's bundles first because those are more interesting. Uh, let's see, to accompany the Valentine's Day 2024 event, Valentine's Day 2024 bundles, small, medium, and large, will be available beginning February 10th at 10 p.m. Cool. They will contain Slowpoke, Chikorita, and Jigglypuff incense. Uh, in addition, they will also include ingredient tickets S and M. Cool. That is good, especially since it's going to be dessert focused with the new recipes. Uh, so we've got. Let's see. The bundle S is 250 diamonds. Again, good price for that. Maybe two Poke Biscuits, one friend incense, two ingredient ticket S's and three handy candy S. Mm. That's all right. In this situation, I think that's actually better save for a good camp ticket. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not really too thrilled with what's in there for 250 diamonds. If there were more biscuits, it might be worth it. But given it's just a friend incense again, friend incense, you get a better benefit from a good camp ticket. So buying two of those bundles, you could just have a good camp ticket, I think would be even better. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too thrilled with that one. I won't be buying that one. Of course, I'm not going to be buying these other two, but let's just go through them anyway. 1,200 diamonds for the medium bundle. Gets you 20 biscuits, 20 Poke Biscuits, three ingredient ticket M's, an Absol incense, a Bulbasaur incense, and a Slowpoke incense. That could be worth it if you have the excess diamonds and you're still in need of an Absol. That could could be very well worth it and 20 poke biscuits pretty great i'm kind of surprised they're not great biscuits actually usually great biscuits are in the medium if i'm remembering correctly kind of surprising but not too bad uh, that one if you need some of those uh, absol or a good slow poke that could be worth it uh and the same whoa what are you doing phone and then the same with the bundle large it's 3,000 diamonds but you do get 20 great biscuits which i think if we did the math, that's 4,000 diamonds for the great biscuits, typically. So a pretty steep discount. Not too bad. Five ingredient ticket M's, two Chikorita incense, two Pincer incense, two Jigglypuff incense. So again, if you have the excess diamonds and you need a good Pincer or still haven't found a Pincer, that might be worthwhile. But again, with just the steep cost of diamonds, I can't really recommend buying them. But if you think it's worth it for you, by all means, have at it. I, I'm i just not a big fan of most of these bundles that they put out because of just how expensive they are translated into real world currency. Uh, ingredient tickets, we know what they do. They give you ingredients when you use them. Uh, so not too bad. Overall, kind of lackluster from my perspective for these bundles, but 251. Yeah, even the 251 is just not good. None of these bundles really scream very good to me. So, eh. again, disappointed with the bundles. Seems to be a recurring theme around here. But let's go ahead and check out the maintenance and version update. So we have uh, maintenance that will be conducted February 7th, which uh, is Wednesday, I believe, at 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. So again, if you normally feed and go to bed or in between that time frame, make sure that you feed early. Uh, otherwise, you will miss out on your dinner that night. And then let's see, points to be updated. Preparations for the Valentine's event. Addition of the two new recipes for the Valentine's event. Addition of a feature that allows researchers to check their recipes at any time from the cooking pot on the home screen. That's nice. It's a minor thing, but it is something that I wish I could check. Uh, every now and then and haven't been able to because I've already fed the meal for that time period. So it is good that we can now look at them again, not the biggest thing, but it is we a welcome change. And then we have the addition of a feature that allows researchers to extend the effect duration of the good camp. ticket. What is this? After using one, one good camp ticket, researchers can use more to extend the duration up to a max of 60 days. Oh, okay. So you can just stack them. 
Cool. So that's interesting. I mean, maybe there was a scenario where people needed that, but I mean, it's certainly not something I would say we didn't need. I will probably never use it because I almost never have more than one anyway, and I am very selective about when I use them. But there are certainly going to be people who want to stack them up. So that's a welcome change as well. And then addition of a feature that allows researchers to use multiple ingredients by tapping and holding on the ingredient while choosing ingredients for cooking. Cool. So you, yeah, so you can just hold down on it and it'll just keep selecting until you let go. That's cool. Then raising the carry limits for helper. Hmm. Interesting. This could help. Plus two to Kangaskhan, plus two to Pinsir, plus four to Ditto, plus three to Heracross, plus six to Sableye, which nobody uses because he has a terrible main skill. <laughs> and then plus four to Absol. So not a significant change, but maybe over the course of time it could be. But also kind of surprising. It is good to know that they're looking at stuff like that and changing them, even if we're not necessarily bringing them up as a big deal. So definitely happy with that. And then, of course, fixes to other small bugs that they don't tell us about because it's just it doesn't matter. Cool. So some good stuff coming again. Wednesday is the maintenance day. So make sure that you get your dinner in before maintenance starts, unless you're going to be awake after 1130. Even then, you may want to get your dinner in just in case, because you never know when maintenance is going to suddenly go until three in the morning. So highly recommend doing your dinner before seven on Wednesday. Did get a new metal. What did we get? Ooh, raised 10 Pokemon to a level 30. Not bad at all. A main skill seed. Ooh, that is good. Still stocking up our seeds. Still don't know exactly who I want to use them on other than one strong candidate with our shiny war turtle, but still not 100% sure on that. We, we may or may not do that. Not 100%. Well, let's go ahead and check out the community reports. 47 that's pretty good so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen that doubled up there we go so that is uh a little over 25 percent if i have done my math correctly definitely happy with getting more than 25 percent double candy unfortunately no level ups today so no no more ingredient tickets to go in my bag but let's go ahead and move on and we can start getting set up for the rest of this week. We do have desserts, which means we'll also get desserts next week. I have two weeks of dessert. It's actually pretty good because that means we can use this week to kind of gauge how next week is going to go and make sure that we have a really solid team set up. Uh, of course, Monday is usually our worst breakfast of the week. Not really much we can do. Stalwart vegetable juice looking like the best case scenario. But not the biggest fan of that. Let's see if we do have any ingredient tickets left. We may have a couple. Speaking of changes they're making in the maintenance, I do wish they would put it to where you can use your ingredient tickets from the cooking screen. We only have two and I don't know. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and use them. See if we can get something worthwhile. Corn and apples. I don't, I don't know that corn's going to help all that much. And tomatoes and milk. So no, probably didn't give us anything we can do. Probably just some filler ingredients. Corn is actually pretty good. Click on the button, my guy. Corn is actually a pretty good filler ingredient. So it's not the worst thing you can get. Yep, unfortunately, still the stalt works. Ooh, actually... Let's check something real fast. Go ahead and switch back over to the recipe calculator. We are on desserts and drinks now. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Uh, let's see, fluffy sweet potatoes and stalwart vegetable juice. I'm willing to bet the fluffy sweet potatoes at level, let's just put them at level 20 and see when outperforms. Pretty sure it's gonna, it's not the sweet potatoes. They are still relatively consistent all the way across the board. So if that's the case, We'll go ahead and make the vegetable juice. We'll hold on to the potatoes for something else. You can fill it in. No, let's throw in some of this cocoa to make it a little better. So fill it out with honey. That seems like it's going to be the best call just to get some stuff on the board and hopefully get a good one. 
at least a decent vegetable juice. Not going to be super fantastic. But I'll be happy with 6,000. Hmm. 5,324. Delicious. It is enough to put our vegetable juice at level 7. So, could be worse. Could be better. Is what it is. While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead. Where is it? Why am I losing my mind? Ron Curry's. All word vegetable juice now level seven. Save. Move on. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave, leave it on this screen because we are about to get into the team building this week. Plus zero across the board. Interesting. Could have been plus one for everybody. Why was it only plus zero? I mean, it, that puts us at basic two. I believe we were a little bit further into basic two last Monday. Make sure we collect from everybody just to get everything out of their inventories before we switch them all out. All right. No one has anything in their inventory. Time to... Side this week's team. Didn't realize I was still messing with my Cyan Beach team. Okay, so for sure, Danium and Primate are staying on the team. They did a lot of good work for us last week. Having Meganium on the team just to bring in a few extra cacao if we need it is very good. Sorted in the wrong order. Where are you, Meganium? I want you as my team leader. Don't know why, but I do. Um, so here's the question is what do we really want to make and what can we make? If we have something that can bring in a good amount of oil and possibly a milk combination, that would be very good. Actually, I think Wigglytuff brings in oil, doesn't it? You need to check that. So, Wigglytuff may go on the team this week. Uh, mm, I mean, it is oil at level 30. It is already level 30. Hmm. I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's a good one. Let's put Wiggly Tough on the team. I think we're going to go for this explosion popcorn. I think we can do that pretty, pretty consistently. At the very least, we're going to try. But we've got Wiggly Tough for some oil. Not 100% sure it's going to bring in a decent amount. Uh, let's save. Let's switch over to team analysis. Let's actually use it this time. Oh, team analysis screen has changed since I was here last. Let's make sure that we are on Lapis Lake side. And then we will put, where's Meganium again? And there you are. You are not level 25. You are level 26. Edit six. Uh, most of the time, pack is going to be full. There we go. There's the old screen I'm used to. I like this part. We've got our primate. There you are. Edit level 27. I uh, forgot to set full pack. Primate actually does wonders with it. Don't think. No, this primate does not have berry fine. Let's put Wiggly Tough on the team. There you go. You are level 30. Definitely going to be collecting from you. So, not a full pack. Hmm. Only seven oil per day is not good. No combination of corn and oil. So, we have to try to find a combination of milk and oil. Feel like that is almost certainly not gonna happen. But let's check out the ingredient tab. Click on milk. 
This will show us who brings in milk. Are any of these going to bring in oil along with it? Any of these that we even have? Persian brings in milk. No oil though. Uh, I don't think there's any combination of milk and oil. So it's basically the evolutions, Blastoise, and Meowth. Let's back up. Go to oil. None of them. None of the evolutions. Definitely not the Blastoise or Meowth. But yeah, there is no good combination for this recipe that we're trying to get this week. We might have to pick something else. Um, we could do the sweet scent chocolate cake, but it's really not ideal. Aerily's restorative tea would probably be better, but again, we still don't have a good apple gatherer. We have an okay mushroom gatherer. We are just not in a great place. What happens if we get Lovely Kiss to 36? Lovely Kiss smoothie is way better than the Sweet Scent Chocolate Cake at 36. We might try for that then. We're... Again, the problem we run into is the app. We are just not in a great place with, we're not in, a, in as good of a place with desserts as I thought we were, because I always forget that apples are really, really hurting us. The fact that we do not have a steady supply of apples. Um, there were more synergistic ingredients for the steadfast cookies. We could do that. I was going to say maybe we put Raichu on the team just to try to bring in apples, but there's no guarantee that that's even going to work. I really would like to have our Wartortle on the team and power him up for this. We are just not in a great place. We may just have to default to the Sweet Scent Chocolate Cake for now, and then I'll see if I can come up with something off screen, because otherwise we're going to be here for 30 or 45 minutes, and... I know you guys don't want that. So, yeah, our one, and that's not even apples, that's honey. Um, I mean, that's apples and eggs. Unfortunately, that's not very, not very synergistic. This is cocoa and then apples at 30, so that's not very helpful. He just don't have proper apple gathering technology it's uh yeah, this is rough i think we are just gonna have to default to sweet scent chocolate cake until i can figure something out uh so let's go ahead and we'll swap in the ones i want on the team it is unfortunate i wanted to do one of the corn recipes just to get stuff on the team because the extra berries will hopefully help but just possible we'll go back to our default with Venusaur and our shiny war turtle, but we are going to do something pretty interesting with the shiny war turtle. We are going to, today's the day that we're going to do what we have been waiting to do. Go ahead and let's see. Pokemon XP calculator is what we need. Uh, this Pokemon is at level 23 with 192 XP left. And I own 37 candies. We want to get it to level 30. That's 43 small candy candies. We can do that. Let's see, one thing I want to double check. Oh yeah, we've got plenty. How many does it take to get 80? Oh, we've got handy candy M's too. So yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's use the 43. 
I don't know why I was doing it one at a time, other than just to be slow. Cool. Now level up. That should put us right at 30. We had one left over. So we'll go right to level 30. That gives us the cacao. Mission complete for 100 candies. Ingredient unlock. Boom. Skill unlock. Boom. So skill level up S. Ingredient magnet at level 3. Fantastic. Ingredient finder S. Uh, and before we go any further and I forget, today's the day that we use a sub skill C. Because we want exactly what this is going to give us. Quality of the sub skill went up. Ingredient finder M instead of ingredient finder S. And then now, in order to get 79 candies, we need to use uh, 79. That is not divisible. But 78 is all we need. So that is divisible by 3. I've done my math correctly. 20 will give us 60. And then 26 should give us 78. There we go. I needed one more. Why is my math so poor? I messed up somewhere. I'm a failure. There we go. Now we can evolve our war turtle to a beautiful, beautiful, shiny Blastoise. One of the best shinies in all of Pokemon for my money is a gorgeous shade of purple. I love this kind of like semi-faded purple on Blastoise. It's so cool. Boom. Shiny Blastoise level 30 with ingredient finder M and skill level up S. It has a long way to go until it gets berry finding, but now that we have put the sub skill seed into it, this should, if I have done my math correctly, I think this actually makes it a 97%. So yeah, we are, you know what? Let's just go double check. We'll go ahead and load in the war turtle. We'll instead make it a Blastoise with milk, cocoa, milk, all the same, everything else. Ingredient count, as always, 92% is what it was before. Then we put ingredient finder M. Boom, 98%. So, that close to perfect. But that's good enough for me. And simply because we got one today, we're also going to go ahead and use a main skill seed on this. I think it's going to be worth it in the long haul. Ingredient magnet level five. The first time we've had one at level five, 17 ingredients chosen at random. Skill level up is definitely there to help us out. Unfortunately, it is a rash nature, so it's main skill chance down. But when that main skill triggers, oh, it's going to be so nice. So with that, we should have a fairly solid team. One last thing I want to do. We're just going to throw in whatever candies we have onto our berry gatherers just to help along the way. There it is. Use 247 candies. That mission's already complete for the week. No worries there. We're going to get some diamonds. We didn't get many candies over the week, but we got enough to push them into another level. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and switch back over to our team analysis, get this loaded in, and we should be pretty well ready to go. I kind of don't want to put Venusaur at level 30 just yet because that's going to give us tomatoes and that is definitely going to hurt in the long run, but we can go ahead and put everything else in. And we should be in a very good place. Level 30. We actually need to swap this out for ingredient finder M and save. So the prediction for the week with a team RP of 6,850 ultra two. Ugh. Well, it did say ultra one last week and we made it to almost ultra four. So yeah, we are at ultra two is the prediction. So. I don't know we'll see what happens hopefully we get some pretty good extra tasties if i can i'm gonna try to get us a better recipe team together but we'll just have to see how it goes 
it may actually be worth swapping wiggly tough out or uh espion again but i'm gonna let it go for a couple days and see what happens but that said that is gonna wrap it up for this week we are in a really good place we are ready to go actually one last thing before i wrap it up let's go ahead and double check these missions now that they should be available so we do have the week two missions get snorlax to basic two for 20 i think that's a teeny candy yep and then use 100 candies for a friend incense and then get to ultra one for 20 ralts candy ultra four for 20 or no what is this oh doesn't actually tell me i want to say that's ralts candy then what is this i'm gonna draw a blank stuffle no can't be stuffle is it dratini no can't be dratini I don't know what candy that is i don't know I'm drawing a blank on what that is if you know be sure to drop that in the comments so that we all know what it is go to bed on time three times for five biscuits of course that'll be easy to do and then cook 12 times for five dream clusters definitely going to take that of course we still can get this dratini incense as long as we finish up ultra four by the end of the week and for our basic weekly missions we did get 247 candies used for our 15 diamonds and that is it, but it's all the standard stuff. So no worries there. Ooh, Snuffle Incense if we get to Master 3. Almost certainly not happening. I can pretty much guarantee that's not gonna happen unless something really wild and crazy happens. But that said, we are well into lunch. I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. I'll feed that later once we actually get some ingredients. And that's all I've got for today. So thank you for watching the video. I know it was a bit of a long one today, so I'm sorry to everybody that you know doesn't really like the longer videos, but to all you that do, Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later dudes.